if dams are considered as temples of modern India, then this temple needs your attention. For the past few weeks, several hashtags have been trending with regard to hashtag Save Kerala, hashtag Decommission Mullaperiyar, and several platforms like Twitter and Instagram and so many places as well. So, what is, what is exactly the problem with this dam called Mullaperiya? So, for all of you who don't know about this issue or if you are basically living under a rock, just hear it out from those who are living under the dam. Because this dam has been in contention for so many years at a point at which people would come and, and write and ask what is going to happen? Will there be any change? What will happen to our lives if this dam ultimately breaks? So, I've been hearing this for the, for the past many years and especially I could recount that around 8, eight or 10 years ago when I was in my school, there was a point at which there were news about you know the dam leaking and so many problems and at that particular time as well the dam will actually break. And I remember there was this classmate of mine who told that you know I might just bring my uh, cousins here to Bangalore because I might be, it might be happen that at the dam also might break. Well, many of us would think it's a bit selfish to think, but the situation has come to, that, come to such that even today, here in 2021, we are still talking about that dam. So this dam has actually been in contention for many years, and it's actually be between two states, that is Tamil Nadu and Kerala, there's a huge amount of dispute with regard to it, though now it's mellowed down a bit, considering how the situation of the, of, of the dam is. And there have been a lot of legal disputes and also a lot of political concerns with regard to the dam as well. But has a solution been drawn about? So in the year 1886, there was actually a lease agreement between the Maharaja of Travancore. Travancore is currently in, in Kerala. So the Maharaja of Travancore and the British Secretary of the Madras Presidency. Are, not this lease, but the lease was for a period of 999 years, 999 years. So, for, for the fact that this dam is actually constructed over the river Peria, so this dam is actually situated in Kerala, in the district of Idiki, which is bordering Tamil Nadu state. But it is now controlled, it's under the control of the Tamil Nadu government. Fun fact, even though, even though it's, in, it's actually in the Kerala state. So this is actually present in the Western Ghats. And the Western Ghats are this huge biodiversity of animals and endangered, endangered species as well. So if this dam breaks or if anything happens, huge amount of displacement of lives, of property, of the in, endangered species as well is, will come into place. So this very dam has been in contention and eventually coming to a point wherein should a new dam be built or should it be decommissioned of sorts should it be decommissioned because i've always heard decommissioning maybe you know you know like you have the decommissioning of a aircraft carrier like that like that but then never heard of a dam being decommissioned but it might come to a point wherein it is required so hence this situation has come to sort of sorts that what will happen to the people the lives because several movies as well also have been playing out <laughs> But huge amount of credit needs to also go to this advocate, advocate Russell Joy, who has been spearing the campaign with regard to going to the Supreme Court and presenting before by saying that, by saying that this dam could possibly be a threat and could hurt huge amount of lives as well. This dam is actually a gravity dam and for those of you who don't know what a gravity dam is basically a dam is constructed out of concrete or stone masonry and even the chief engineer of this dam who was mr john pennycook he stated he said to have stated that this dam has a lifespan of only 50 years and everything man-made any infrastructural product has its own shelf life beyond a point at which it would just be crumbling and to a point wherein it will be of no use or could cause huge amount of harm than be of use to uh, use to us as such. So with regard to 50 years being the lifespan, today it's been more than 120 years since the dam is still being existing and there are still being talks. 
several parties have come you have several governments coming and uh, coming and going with in kerala but this particular issue has been a huge amount of contention because right now this, the state had presented the point before the, before the court that they really want to build a dam but the dam if they want to build a new dam this dam was was for the very point at which is going to be serving the the farmers because unfortunately tamil nadu has been at a place where it's it's pretty dry as such so that's why they are very much reliant on the rivers from other states as well and that's why there has been huge amount of dispute not just with kerala with regard to mullaperiya but also with if you will know about, about the kaveri dispute as well with karnataka as well unfortunately it's a hum- the people at risk with regard to their livelihood that, that is the farmers who are dependent on on these waters or even general public as well and also those people of, in the state from where the rivers are flowing so there's actually a justification with regard to two points maybe the river maybe the dam is is in one particular state but also need to consider that every human being needs to be address these key features and key facilities as well but the question about whether the dam should be built is not it's not supposed to be a question because even several reports like the united nations uh, institute for water environment and health they have also raised the concerns about you know how the structural uh, issues and also possible dam break of sorts and according to several experts as well this dam if it breaks could alter huge amount of losses and huge amount of destruction as well causing lakhs of people to die because i remember many of the interviews of the advocate who I mentioned advocate russell jo he mentioned about lakhs of people i think around 40 lakhs is what is mentioned with regard to that maybe you might say it's kind of like kind of like an exaggeration but in a state of more than 3 crore people 40 lakhs being wiped out and the districts just wiping out is an unfortunate reality which one should not be, uh, see in their lifetimes or in the, in the in the in the life to come as well so hence if this dam breaks it could also be a point at which could cause huge amount of destruction but also it's built it's it's it here by in an earthquake zone as well so it could cause huge amount of disasters all together so one is also reminded of this movie it's actually there's actually this movie called dam 999 this dam this movie about uh, this particular dam breaking think though it was not based on the mullaperiya dam this movie was actually banned in the state of tamil nadu because allegedly it is uh, it showed this dam breaking and uh, despite it being there for so many years they found the facts to be very similar to that of mullaperiya dam so this dam was uh, this movie was actually based on the banku dam and that gets to the point the banku dam was actually in this in, in the in china and that dam made broke it caused huge amount of destruction i think around one more than 100000 150000 people were dead because of look of the dam and it happened in the 1970s but no information about it, it can, can it proceed because it is, because you know it's a, it's a communist state you won't really have much information about such disasters but huge amount of lives are lost so much so that people ought to learn from the from those disasters as well so here by it's a plea to many of those who are watching it over here you know this may be news to you this may, it may be maybe the first time or maybe you just have a fair idea with regard to it just like you and me there are people who are living in the, in these conditions living in the in the very place which is which may, may be very close to the dam as well because there have been reports that the dam shutters have been let open because of of the recent flooding in kerala and also been to us to move from the place as well for the time being so there may to those who are watching this video as well say to share it i bring to the note that not just this dam but ever so many infrastructural projects has its own life span Yes, we do need to consider development. We need to need to consider the overall economy of the country, and also to consider that uh, that huge amount of infrastructural projects as well. But everything has a shelf life. So I hope you all got to know what what exactly this uh, this particular movement is, and uh, hoping to see more content with regard to the same. Thank you for tuning in, and stay tuned.